Hi guys, welcome back to the Acne channel. It's your girl Liz, aka Pretty Progress 23. So I am currently here to talk about something that is really, really dear to my heart, and that is antibiotics. Antibiotics is one of the probably one of the most popular remedies slash cure that a lot of doctors prescribe their patients. Now I just want to make it clear that I'm not dismissing the importance and the effectiveness of antibiotics for some cases. This video is particularly just telling you the pros and cons of antibiotics antibiotics and keeping you well aware and informed of what you are taking. Now, first of all, what exactly is antibiotics? Antibiotics in layman terms, the way that I understand it, is something that pretty much kills off the bad bacteria, so that prohibits your acne from growing and thriving. And it seems like a good thing, but antibiotics doesn't differentiate between the good bacteria and the bad bacteria. So it kills off all forms of bacteria, leaving your body completely defenseless from pathogens. And that means you're more prone, more likely to have all these different sides effects because the imbalance and disruption of your gut flora causes you to have yeast infections, candida, um, a further flare-up of acne in the future and you're more prone to relapses and with all these side effects you got to ask yourself are these side effects worth it? Do these side effects make sense? Am I actually healing my body or am I causing greater damage? So I think the biggest mistake in my journey is not understanding the magnitude, the importance of probiotics. So let's say you are taking antibiotics or you are about to take antibiotics or you have taken antibiotics. It is so important that you reintroduce the good bacteria before, during and after your course of antibiotics. Even taking daily probiotic in, in the form of capsules, powder, whatever it is is really helpful in balancing your gut flora so I'm gonna start from the very beginning what exactly happened when I was entering high school I was about 11 12 at this stage and I had puberty pimples around my forehead I wasn't concerned about what I was eating at that particular stage of my life because I didn't see the dangers in it I didn't see the harm in it so at this stage I had sort of like heaps of little blackheads across my nose and an oily face little, little thousands hundreds of pimples across my forehead especially in between my eyebrows and I think when it kind of got out of hand, I started becoming very self-conscious. I was quite self-obsessed with my image and I compared myself to other girls in my grade and I was like, why don't they have pimples like I do? So the first thing I did was I freaked out. So my mom freaked out and she also took me to the doctor. She was also concerned. She was like, yeah, just ask you know, doctors for some recommendations and you'll be fine. I was like, okay. So I went to the doctors who quickly looked at my face and said, you know what you need? Antibiotics. I think that'll clear up your acne in no time. He didn't prescribe me any creams, he just go, go straight on antibiotics. Didn't ask me about any contextual information, he just quickly prescribed me antibiotics. And the first type that I've tried was called minocycline. I was over the moon, I was like, yeah, I only have to take it for two weeks, my acne is going to be gone. I had a lot of faith and it did clear up. After a week and a half, I started seeing that my skin cleared up. I didn't have a flare up of inflamed skin, my skin didn't have red sore pustules anymore. And I was like, wow, this is my holy grail and what do you know a few years later my acne came back I went straight back to the doctors for another course of minocycline because in my mind minocycline was my holy grail and mind you this is a different doctor and the different doctor although he knew that I took a minocycline in the past based on my records he was like you know what you can try that again and see how you go and I took it nothing didn't work so I went back and asked for something else I was like look this is not working my skin is flaring up it's so bad and he goes okay what I recommend is a stronger type of antibiotics called doxycycline and instead of taking it for two weeks I recommend you to take it for three months and I was like what okay um I I just accepted it I was desperate for a solution for something that would get rid of my pimples I didn't want to worry about my skin anymore and I think part of my fault is that I didn't do the extra research online. I didn't look at the pros and cons of antibiotics myself. I trusted and put my faith in the doctor because he's a professional. He should know what is good for me and what isn't good for me, right? I, I was 15 for Christ's sake. Like, at the same time, I don't want to make an excuse for my mindless faith in, in a doctor. But at the same time, 
I mean, who do you trust at this point? You know what I mean? But anyways, I took doxycycline for three months. I had a number of side effects, including yeast infections downstairs. I had a coated white tongue. My breath smelled. In fact, I had constipation. And that's that. But my skin did not get any better. So what do you know? He prescribed me birth control pills. And I, don't, I didn't even want to get into that right now, but it's on the same topic of damaging your gut. So antibiotic, as I said in the, in the beginning of this video, doesn't know the difference between good bacteria and bad bacteria. So when your body is defenseless from pathogens, you are going to be multiplying at a really rapid rate all these pathogens, bad bacteria that cause a disruption in your gut. And now your gut is one of the main things that help your body function. If this is not functioning at its best, you're gonna experience all this number of side effects because your body works as a system. So I have a whole video on gut health, causes, the symptoms that show up and ways to heal your gut in order to heal your skin. And I'll post it down below. But in short, when your gut is low functioning and causing heaps of digestive issues where your body isn't able to detox, well, it's gonna be trapped in there and the only way it could come out is through your skin. And it shows on your skin. I am a deep believer that gut and acne has a strong correlation. I also want to know that researchers found that participants who took three courses or more more of antibiotics in the course of 1.5 years, you're more prone to becoming antibiotic resistant. That means when you do take antibiotics for a certain reason, whether it be acne or not, you might not be able to fight back because the bacteria itself is already able to survive that antibiotic type and so it multiplies and worsens the inflammation in your body. So it's pretty scary. Imagine what my body was going through when I took my second, my third, and my fourth course of antibiotics. I don't wanna scare you, but I just wanted to give you the background story of why my skin went from simple puberty pimples to you know hormonal pimples to severe cystic acne all over my face. And it was just traumatizing. And I remember crying and feeling hopeless, but I just feel better now that I've understood my body Body and have a greater grasp of what my body should be taking. There are so many options. We're talking fermented veggies, we're talking back kombucha, apple cider vinegar, miso soup. There are a whole range and as I said, check out my video in my on my channel and it has all the information for the beginner's guide. I think one of my main tips is also not just seeking professional help from a general doctor, but also a dermatologist and a naturopath and a herbalist and finding a range of of opinions and advice that will allow you to make more an informed decision rather than just relying on one person, you know, or two people in the same field. You know what I mean? Yeah. And before I end this video, I just want to take a bit of time to say thank you for watching this video and to know that we're all in this together. I hope that you guys have a lovely day and you guys can find me on Pretty Progress 23. Big kisses. Bye.